What's up, Trade Hackers? Welcome to today's update. Today's Tuesday, March 17th. Doesn't really feel like a St. Patrick's Day to me. Usually there's some craziness going on in the city, a lot of green beer, but not today, my friends. Everybody is hunkered down. And uh, so what's going on in the markets today? Well, maybe it's, maybe it feels lucky for you. We're actually getting a little bit of a bounce in the market. Uh, about a 200-point range in the S&P today. It seems pretty calm compared to the 10%, 11% swings that we've seen the last few days. Big day down here, then a big bounce up, then a big down day, and then just kind of a, a muted day, but still a huge range with 200 points in the S&Ps. Dow up 528, NASDAQ up over 330, Russell up over 40. We've still got a little less than an hour to go in the market from the time of this recording. Oil continues its slide lower down over 5% today. Gold, wild rides in gold as well. Big range ended up uh, about up about 3% today. But the big news is bonds. Bonds down almost 4.5% right now. You know, if you look at bonds, bonds obviously have an inverse correlation to interest rates. And so the Fed came out last week and did a surprise, well, maybe not such a surprise, but came out and did a, a 50 basis point rate cut. And then came out, when was it? Monday? Sunday night, I think, came out and said, we're cutting the rates to zero. So they are cutting the Fed fund rates to zero. Now, does that mean you can get your mortgage at 0% loan? No. The federal fund rate is the rate that banks can borrow at. Okay, so you're still going to be paying, you know, a couple percentage at least on your mortgage on a 30-year note or a 15-year note. But that does bring the longer term rates down. So the Fed is trying to control the shorter term rates by lowering the Fed fund rates. And then they're also buying all these additional treasuries to try to pump up or try to bring down the longer dated kind of the 30 year duration type notes as well. So typically when you're seeing especially surprise rate cuts with the Fed, that's when you would see these spikes in, in bonds. But 50 basis point cut here, bond market tanked. It popped up a little bit yesterday after the slash to zero when they cut an additional 50 basis points, but down considerably today. So, you know, just a wild market, not a lot of rationale as you would typically think of it in the markets right now. So you've just got to continue, like I say all the time, stay small, stay mechanical and be careful out there because things are whipping around like crazy. Nat gas down almost 5% today. And then let's take a look at some of the other stocks with a big up day in the S&Ps and the, and the rest of the indices today. Uh, you would think that the majority of individual stocks would be up. You know, we're up over 3%, up over 4.5% in the NASDAQ. But if you look at kind of these closely watched stocks, you know, most of them are green, but there's certainly still a lot of red on the screen. And so if we kind of take a look at these, you know, Apple's up over 4%, Amazon is up over 6%. Boeing continues its slide down. It's down over 7%. You know, this is one that I've started to actually nibble on. I got long here and then sold out for a quick profit overnight when it bounced 15%. It nibbled yesterday, nibbled again today, getting long. So, and the reason is, is, you know, I think the airlines are going to be one of the industries that gets bailed out here. And so when that happens, I think we see a, a pretty significant pop in Boeing. Alibaba up 4%, BIIB up 9%, Beyond Meat. Banks are getting hammered today with, with bonds down. You're seeing the banks get hammered. It's the Delta Airlines, of course, airlines getting hammered. Again, I'd be really, really careful if you're short airlines, though. I think, I think they're going to be getting a bailout at some point, which could create some significant upside for them. Uh, let's see, with uh, Disney down with all the parks closing. Well, let's see what some of this, some of these other interesting stocks are doing. Lowe's is down. Lyft and Uber are down. McDonald's is down. A lot of the techs are up today. Microsoft up big. Netflix up big. Nvidia up almost ten percent. Oracle up up almost ten percent. Starbucks down. I heard they are nationally going to drive through only or pick up only or something like that. Let's see some of these others here. If there's any other uh, Tesla's down about five percent. You know, when people get tight with their money, like it seems like it's happening, you know, luxury items like a Tesla may not be on the list for people to go out and rush out and, and spend a bunch of money on. So seeing Tesla come down, 
United Healthcare up 8%. And Yum Brand. So another fast food group down over 7%. So that's what's moving. So what did we do today? Well, we added a little bit of a directional play in VXX. So this is volatility. You know, volatility has obviously skyrocketed with the down move in stocks. And so we thought it was time to add a little bit of short volatility. So we put on a short directional trade in VXX. We also uh, rolled down our short delta trade. So as the market continues to roll to go down, we're continuing to roll down our short delta plays, roll down our short delta plays just to keep that some short delta in our portfolio. Now we're actually to a point where our portfolio is actually a little bit long after this huge move down, uh, which I don't mind being after a massive move like this. Uh, you know, you'd think at some point you're going to get a little, little bit of balance, but I do still have a significant amount of, of short positions on for that downside as well. So fairly, fairly balanced portfolio at this point, but we're just going to keep on keeping on, keep on keeping our position sizes small, continue to add a uh, short premium as the, as the implied volatility stays through the roof. So that's what we're doing. Everybody have a good evening. We will talk to you tomorrow.